It's time to clear the air. There's important new guidance for all of us using saws to cut concrete curbs and paving. Most of us need to use cut-off saws from time to time to lay curbs, paving and for general highways work. We're all aware of the massive dust clouds that can arise when cutting. This dust is potentially dangerous. It contains respirable crystalline silica, RCS, which can seriously damage your lungs, the lungs of your workmates and even casual passers-by. From now on, whenever we cut a curb, a block, a slab or any other concrete surface, we should use water suppression to kill the dust. Then the dangerous RCS is not breathed in by you or anyone close by. My name is Seamus Doyle, Safety Manager for Daniel Contractors Limited. I cover all of Wales with Daniel, um, managing teams who undertake water main repairs. We undertake around about 11,000 to 12,000 holes in pavements or main roads on a yearly basis to repair water mains for our client, which are Welsh Water, uh, across Wales. Whether you work in the public or private sector, on highways construction, road maintenance, hard landscaping or general site work, this guidance applies to you. We all understand that dust is a nuisance. It makes it hard to see where you're cutting. It gets into your clothes and your hair. It makes a mess of nearby surfaces. But much more than that, it is a serious risk to your health. And wearing a simple dust mask is not enough to protect your lungs. Whenever you cut a concrete curb or paving unit, some of the dust will be RCS and it takes only a small amount to do serious damage to your health. RCS dust is nasty stuff. It scars the lining of your lungs. It has been linked to breathing problems such as silicosis and emphysema, to pulmonary disease and even to lung cancer. Cutting just one curb produces a choking cloud of dust. The more you cut, the more you are exposed to dangerous RCS and the greater the risk to your health. Hi, my name is John Williams. I work for Daniel Contractors Limited in South Wales on the Minor Works contract for Welsh Water. Uh, since being made aware of the risks of dust, this is the equipment we use. It's dust suppression to the water, to the dust to a minimum. Dust suppression kit. There it is. All modern saws have a fitting which is used to attach a hose. When there is no tap or running water available, a simple water bottle can be used. Using a water bottle is incredibly easy. Just fill with clean water. It holds around 5 litres or one bucketful, which is enough for about 5 minutes of continuous cutting. Screw on the plunger cap. Half a dozen pumps will generate sufficient pressure to feed the saw for a minute or two. Connect the hose to the bottle outlet fitting and to the nipple on the saw itself. A simple tap is used to turn the water on. Before you fire up the saw, check it over. Make sure there's plenty of clean water in the bottle, that the hose is securely attached to both the bottle and the saw, that water is feeding through to the blade and that you're wearing your safety kit. When the saw is stopped and has cooled, you can use an old toothbrush or a small wire brush to keep the HUD outlet clear. If possible, have a mate occasionally pump the bottle for you as you undertake the cut. Notice how there is no dust being blown out from the cut, just spray from the water. Even though the dust is suppressed, it's still vital that you wear appropriate protective equipment, including safety eyewear, ear defenders and a suitable particulate mask. But if it's only got one strap, it's probably useless. Don't force the blade into the unit being cut. Allow the weight of the saw to eat its way into the unit at its own pace. This avoids damage to the blade and reduces the risk of the machine kicking. The water spray traps most of the dust and fine particles created by the cutting action, preventing them becoming airborne. Notice how the dirty water drips away from the lower end of the saw, carrying the dust and the dangerous RCS with it. It's a good idea to wear waterproof leggings and boots, unless you don't mind your feet being cold and wet all day. Think too about what happens to the slurry that runs off from the saw. It can stain whenever it lands, so do the cutting well away from any sensitive surfaces. Although this hero has the mask 
and all the other PPE, he's forgotten to protect his legs, so he's in for a long and uncomfortable day with damp legs and feet. Hello, my name's Alistair Smith. I've been working in construction for about 20 years now. The beauty of using water suppression units with your still saw is it cut down the dust. It allows you to see the lines that you're cutting, which allows you to give a more accurate cut. It'll stop all that dust getting up your nose and into your throat, and then it makes life a lot more pleasant for you and other people around you. So remember, use water suppression to keep the dust out of the air and out of your lungs. Wear waterproof leggings and wear the appropriate PPE. Water suppression catches the dust as soon as it's created by the saw blade and ensures it can't get into your lungs. Make your site a safer place to work and ensure your health and the health of others isn't put at risk.